Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing infection and inflammation. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it does help my channel reach more people and that is what my channel is all about. Um, so let's get started guys. All right, so infection and inflammation. So inflammation is a part of normal wound healing the inflammatory phase. Now we are talking about infection that's really causing inflammation, okay? So this is not uh, the same as just inflammation, uh, the inflammatory phase of wound healing. It's really inflammation caused by um, bacteria, okay? So we do have different grades of bacterial contamination. So not all bacterial contamination needs to be treated, okay? Our body can be a host of over 200 microorganisms on our skin at all times, okay? Um, it's our normal flora for our body. So our normal flora normally doesn't harm us. Now, sometimes it will incubate and cause infection. Okay, so that's really what we're going to be talking about is the different stages of infection and what we should be doing to treat them. Okay, so we have contamination. We're just going to clean these wounds. Normal saline, sterile water. Um, it's really not do. It's not harming the wound in any way, which will in the next slide, we'll get into more deeper factors of all of these. Um, so we're just going to touch base quickly here. Um, colonization, once again, not really affecting wound healing. It's slowing it down a little bit. We can use um, a debriding agent for heavily uh, colonized wounds um, that aren't showing signs of outright infection. Okay. Now, if we have a local infection, now, if you're curious of how to know the difference between a local infection and a systematic infection, you need to check out my video. I will link it up above here. Um, there is, they use NERDS and Stonies, it's called. Now, your NERDS um, determines local infection, which is treated through a topical antimicrobial, and then Stonies. Um, which determines a systematic infection, which you would have to treat through um, an oral antibiotic. Sometimes we ever need to go to an IV antibiotics, but antibiotics ne is needed regardless. Okay, so let's go in a little deeper to each one of these. So once again, inflammation is an essential part of wound healing. However, with infection, and inflammation being caused by infection, it's going to delay wound healing, okay? So contamination, so the presence of microorganisms that are contained and do not multiply, there are no signs of infection and healing is not impaired, okay? Antimicrobials are not indicated for this, okay? We just need to clean that wound, normal saline, perfectly fine. Um, now, it gets a little bit more tricky here to see if it is contaminated or critically colonized, okay? When something is becoming more critically colonized, we're going closer to that need of antimicrobials. But at this point, colonization is just microorganisms that are multiplying, but we're lacking the signs of infections, okay? So with your nerds and stonies, if you give that a watch later on here, you need three signs from either side for it to be clinically infected, okay? So we're probably hitting about two markers here um, on those charts, okay? Once again, Antimicrobials are not indicated for a colonized wound. Now, for a colonized wound, you can use a depriding agent. Um, even um, sometimes we'll use Vashi Wash. Um, just, just as a soak quickly um, to reduce the amount of microorganisms, okay? Um, now, local infection. Now, we do have... Um, favorable conditions. We have bacteria there that are multiplying um, and it's actually 
causing effect to the patient, okay? So the patient will, you'll be using your nerds and they'll have at least three um, of, of the nerds, okay? So you're going to have wound breakdown. It's going to impair healing. We need a topical antimicrobial for this, okay? So local infection, topical antimicrobial. It's all a plug and play really with wound care. You look at what you have, okay, and then connect it. This is what we got to do, okay? Now, spreading and systematic infections. Now, this is our stonies. Uh, microorganisms are spreading th throughout the vascular or lymphatic system and evolve um, either a part of the body spreading or the whole body systematic. Healing is impaired. A systematic approach is needed. So for this, normally we'll use a topical antimicrobial and a uh, antibiotic to prevent sepsis from happening, okay? So you do need an antibiotic for, for systematic infections. Now, biofilms. So um, I will link up above because I do have a video specifically on biofilms because there's no way that I can go into full detail on this video about biofilms. They're very, very intricate um, because this is a survival mechanism for bacteria, okay? Um, they're encapsulated in this slimy community of microbes, okay? Um, often there's multiple microbes. They're very, very, very hard to get rid of. Um, the degree of bio burden in which the wound forms totally depends on what kind of bacteria are there. Once again, they are super, super hard to get rid of. Not impossible to get rid of, but super hard to get rid of. So once again, I linked it up above. Um, so you can go more in detail on the biofilms, but we, you can't, if you have a biofilm, yeah, it has to be treated right away. Um, it does delay wound healing. It increases exudated, increases inflammation, which we can then have further breakdown of the tissue surrounding the wound. So further breakdown, obviously not a good thing. So check out that video. I'll link it at the end also. So I hope this video did give you a better idea of how we're treating the wound, especially when it comes to infection, because it goes from not needing antibiotics to um, maybe needing some debridement. Sorry, so maybe um, needing some debridement to topical antimicrobials to um, an actual antibiotic. So it varies quite widely. Um, it is hard to determine between clean and colonized. Okay, so um, you might want to look into that just a little bit more. Um, I'll probably do another video um, just to go more into detail because. We have nerds and stonies for our topical antimicrobials and systematic um, medications, local versus deep spreading. We we have that. It is it is harder to determine between contaminated and colonized. And you know, a lot of times we're doing swabs to see to see where we're at. Um, but I'll definitely put out a video in the near future about that, but I hope this has given you a better idea that we don't always need to just go right to those um, topical antimicrobials, to the antibiotics. So we don't need that. And I see, I see it happening all the time where um, patients have been put on topical antimicrobials and uh, antibiotics and they're not needed, okay? If we do not have a clinical infection, if we do not have three or more nerds or stonies, we do not need to be treating it, okay? Um, antimicrobials, it can actually delay wound healing. So if at all possible, if we can just be using um, just regular products, no antimicrobials on them, and just managing moisture balance, that's what we really need to be doing to heal a wound, okay? So I hope this video did help you uh, for your practice. And I hope to catch you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.